Good evening, everyone. This is Michael. I read a book called Trip, the subtitle Psychedelics, Alienation, and Change by Tao Lin, and he's the author of Taipei. Uh, I don't remember when I got it. It was, must have been a couple years ago at a bookstore, and, and I've never read a book by this author, but I'm really glad I picked it up. Really good book, and I would recommend it. It's sort of nonfiction. It's a biographical book from the author where he talks about his experience with psychedelics. Table of contents. So he has the introduction, why I'm interested in him, and he's referring to Terrence McKenna, Terrence McKenna's life, my drug history, psilocybin, DMT, salvia, why are psychedelics illegal, cannabis, and then the epilogue. And the epilogue is very, very long, and it details the author going to visit Terrence McKenna's ex-wife. But back to the author, he's very, I love his writing style. He's kind of a hermit, keeps to himself. And so he talks about that a lot. And he, the way he thinks is a little bit odd, but I really liked it. And I really liked the clarity of his thoughts. And, and he, he writes like a journalist and he tracks everything he's done lots of drugs he's probably in his late 30s and he's writing this book out outlining his initial experience with no drugs at all up until age was age 27 or so and then he started experimenting with drugs he started out with alcohol a little bit uh didn't like that too much he said 20 or 30 times and never too much you know, you know, party with friends or whatever, but experimented with things to make him more productive while he was writing as a journalist. He lives in New York City. Uh, he says he lives alone and he only interacts with people when he goes out uh, every like once a week or whatever, or when he goes outside the city and goes on book tours. Other than that, he's in his apartment just researching, just doing stuff, keeping to himself. And so he does lots of self experiments like Xanax. Uh, other pills, speed, amphetamines, things to either bring him up or bring him down, uh, pharmaceuticals. Uh, he smoked a little weed, tried a few party drugs, and there's kind of a, a graph in the book where he shows the maximum amount of his drug usage. And even when he was trying to get off drugs, he was sort of going around and writing and telling people that he was in recovery. But in reality, he was doing more drugs than ever. Uh, sort of self-deception, but also lying to others. And then he actually went through recovery. And then a little bit after that, he started getting into psychedelics and he uses those a lot. Um, so kind of an interesting journey. He just The way he, I, I don't know how to describe it exactly. You got to read the book, but if you're interested in that, um, you know, he's, his parents are from Taiwan. So he's, a, uh, I believe, a first generation immigrant. Um so he writes to his mother and he out outlines some of the emails that they pass back and forth and she's very supportive of him. And it's one of the few people he uh, really connects with. And so he reads off some of her, or he outlines in the book some of the emails he's said back and forth uh, to his mother. Um, he's really good about keeping track of all his detailed conversations. He kind of puts a recorder and then um, doesn't worry about it, but... Um, so he, you know, as a journalist just kind of has that training. So anyway, he spent, you know, with this, all this information, he, of him spending a lot of time alone, he listened to something like 35 hours of Terrence McKenna talks all in a row, which is kind of wake up, listen to the talks all day, go to sleep, wake up, do it again. He did that for a couple weeks and it got him very inspired, um, I've listened to, you know, dozens of hours of Terrence McKenna at this point, but uh, that's that's very intense, um, what this author is talking about. And he decided to experiment with those substances. Goes into a lot of, you know, he actually starts off with a biography of Terrence McKenna's life, and I learned a lot from that because, you know, from the beginning, when Terrence McKenna and his brother went to the Amazon um, in their 20s, uh, when they were experimenting with all sorts of stuff, when he was an academic, then when he was sort of a botanist, you know, postgraduate school, writing sort of academic books, um, him getting married uh, to a woman named Kathleen and having kids 
and then his later years until he died in the year 2000 and sort of all his thoughts on the I Ching and uh, change and time and Mayan calendars and all that, you know, esoteric knowledge. So very, very interesting and how it relates to drugs and how Terrence McKenna thought the DMT realm was an actual, you know, dimension that you smoke the substance and you get teleported into another realm and you interact with the beings there and they give you advice and other people that have been there, you know, uh, so for example, Terrence was kind of telling everybody, I just need more people. I need you all to do it more, record your experiences. And then other scientists later on can study that, but we're in the, you know, uh, first phase of this, uh, discovery. Um, they go over, you know, shamanic traditions and doubt that they've been doing for thousands of years, ayahuasca ceremonies, all that sort of thing. And then the author gets very personal and talks about his own history with drugs and in fact goes into great detail on his psilocybin use. Uh, that's like 30 pages. Then his DMT use, that's an you know, more pages. That's like uh, 50 pages I'm reading here. Then his, a short chapter on his salvia trip. Um, and by the way, he doesn't really remember his DMT trip, but it was really interesting. He had a friend come over and just the whole experience went around that. Um, then he go, you know, he talks about why are psychedelics illegal, talks about the history of that. And then, you know, there's a chapter, which was my favorite, and it was a whole ch chapter uh, 40 pages or so on cannabis and it was such an interesting such a personal chapter and it it left me with a really I already had a positive impression of cannabis before this something I'm very familiar with lots of friends that do it and so forth um, and just this this chapter on everything related to cannabis like the the author's personal history with it, what it means, what it feels like, how it puts him in a dreamlike state, uh, things he's learned from it. Um, it was really well written. So to the point where I'm suggesting and recommending the chapter on cannabis to uh, friends that have smoked it before or even friends that haven't, just to get them kind of a, a feeling, uh, an impression um, just, a, you know, kind of a beautiful work of art that this author has, has put through. So if anyone's recommended, I, I recommend this book. It's a really short read, um, less than 300 pages, very easy to read. Uh, and I will certainly read more from this author. His name is T-A-O-L-I-N, Tao Lin. So thank you so much for listening. Till next time.